Ma Rainey has come north of Chicago to record music, and she brings along with her four musicians, and, and, and one of them is Levy, a very ambitious young man who is determined to stake his claim uh, on the music industry, and through one day in Chicago, all these stories and eruptions and truths and lies and, and deceptions get revealed, and all of the characters are completely and totally altered as a result of this one day. When you're doing a work, you know, that, that, that somebody else has done, I think if you can locate the intimacy and the urgency within yourself, and you can find that intimacy and urgency within the, within, within the material, then it can spark with, it, with, a, with, with, with an energy that feels like it's happening in the moment. The piece was, in many respects, about the Great Migration. And very frequently, the, the thought process is that there were these poor, weary black people down in the South, you know, experiencing oppression, which absolutely 100% happened. But there is another side of that, which is, given the dynamics of segregation, black people created in the South created their own. They had their own businesses. They had they they supported each other. And one, my father is from a very small town in, in 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 Kentucky. And at one point, I drove him here, and I I was riding around, driving around him and his sister. And they were going, oh, the ballroom was over there, and the doctor shop was over there, and the drugstore was over there. And they were all naming black businesses in this tiny little town. So I grew up. I grew up with this incredible sense of understanding of you. If somebody's not giving you something, you create your own. Ma Rainey. Uh, has this line at one point when she's arguing about her Coca-Cola or arguing about some other point. She says, I can take my black ass back down south because I don't like it up here anyway. And so one of the phenomena that I think is really interesting about the place is in the south, Ma is in charge of her own destiny, in charge of her own reality. And, so, and, and then, but when she comes up north, she has to negotiate on a moment-to-moment -moment basis with a white power structure as manifested by her agent and the manager. She is called the mother of the blues, which of course no one is the mother of any great art form. But I mean, I think, but she, she, she was, she was her own unique, uh, you know, performing artist. She acquired power. She acquired a tremendous amount of power. She had an incredibly devoted following in the South. She was in charge. She put herself in charge. The one thing that was stressed over and over and over and over was process, was, 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 was process. Because when you have really skilled, gifted actors, they are bringing, they are bringing their muscularity already to it. And if you create a pathway where you're not censoring any impulse that they have, then they're going to start to bring their truths. 